Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I blog at KathleenStamps.com. Today I'd like to show you this beautiful card that I made using the new <clears throat> Art Gallery Stamp Set from Stampin' Up! and the coordinating die set called Floral Gallery. And they can be found in the new mini catalog, the January to June <clears throat> 2021 mini catalog. And the entire of uh, fine art floral suite, say that five times fast, <laughs> can be found on page 32 to 33 of that catalog. And the actual bundle that we're using, which is the art gallery bundle, can be found on page 34. Fabulous bundle. I love floral cards, and these are so beautiful. And if you purchase this full suite or any of the little items that are in the suite, I know that you too can make cards that are just really stunning. They have um, designer series paper, <coughs> beautiful designer series papers, this new uh, gold um, gilded leaf embossing powder, which is actually, they're not. it's not powder, it's like a flaked gold leafing product that you can put on your cards and lots of fun things and I'll be showing these in the near future so you'll be able to see um, a lot of the fun items that are in this floral suite. So today um, I'm also going to be using the Oso oh Ombre Designer Series paper and this is an item that you, this is the variety so you get it with the little circles on it and then you get an ombre sheet and it's in four different colors. And this is an item that you can pick during our celebration, which runs from January 5th to February 28th of uh, 2021. And with a $50 purchase, you're able to choose this Oso oh, oh Ombre Designer Series paper with your order. So if you're planning on ordering anything during this celebration period of time, it's a great thing to do, and there's lots of items that you can choose from from this catalog. <clears throat> All of the items that um, I'm going to show to you today as I walk through everything, you'll be able to find out everything I used on a coordinating blog post, and that blog post will be listed right below this YouTube video and also all the cutting dimensions and scoring and sizes of everything that I use will be found at that same blog post. So don't worry if I run through things fast here, you'll be able to catch it up there. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to use is use a piece of our Mossy Meadow cardstock and what I decided to do um, was to stamp around the edges of the cardstock using a Versamark watermark pad. And my particular stamping style, I love layers. <clears throat> the more layers, the better. I love texture. I love embossing folders. I love dies. I love anything at all that can add layers and texture to your card. And an easy way to do it is you can make your own designer series paper or background paper by using a Versamark pad and just your cardstock. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, Versamark is the pad that you use to heat emboss because it's a very sticky ink and so embossing powder fit, sticks to it really, really well. Um, but you can also, it's known as a watermark pad. And what that means is by just stamping with the ink on the paper, you get this watermark design. So it gives you some interest to your cardstock in a very easy method and you can do it with it will go on any color that you use which is awesome. So now that we have this done I have cut a piece of my Oso oh Ombre car or designer series paper and we'll go ahead and we'll attach that to the card base. This is such a great time of the year. I love January um, the new year. It's always fun to start a new year, especially this year. Hopefully it will be way better than last year, which I know has been a struggle for many of us. I think that's on there crooked, of course. So now you get to see how I fix things when they're on crooked. So I'm just going to take this off and then we'll put it on again. But as I was saying, one of the also the great things about every January is we get a new catalog from Stampin' Up! 
and it's always fun to have new stamps in the house. There we go. That's a little better. And it's always fun for celebration because you get lots of free stuff when you place an order. So now what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and we'll stamp our stem with the Mossy Meadow ink. And we'll just do this right down here on the base or toward the bottom of the card. Good, firm, even pressure, giving some time for the ink to absorb. And then I'm going to clean my stamp using my chamois. I really love this chamois. You know, it's great because it's just water and it cleans your stamps off perfectly. It's so easy, easy to do. Now, the next thing for the next, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and we're going to stamp our, oh, now of course, right on my thumb. We'll use the chamois to take that ink off. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to stamp the big bloom. And even though, as you can see, I'm going to overlay this with the um, die cut image, I'm still going to stamp it on the card so it looks like we have a bigger flower in the background, which is really nice. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And it isn't really going it doesn't really matter where it ends up because it is going to be covered by that other image. So if you just want a little bit, I think I'll just do the, well, should I do two? Well, let's go ahead and we'll have one off to the side too. Okay, now it won't matter that it overlaps like that. So again, we'll clean off our stamp. And now what I have done previously is I went ahead and I stamped my image and then I cut it out with the Floral Gallery die set and I used this die to cut it out and what I'm going to do is put some dimensionals on the back so we can elevate this off the card and I love dimensionals you're going to find a lot of people just use one or two. I'm a big put dimensionals on it everywhere kind of a girl. I really want it to be up and even. And the other thing, reason as I put so many on is as it runs through the post office, um, I always make sure that I have them in the middle because I don't want my card to sag when it runs through the um, scanner that, you know, that puts the postage on things. So it works out. Um, sometimes if you leave the middle down, when it runs through the meter, it will cause a problem and it will cause it to sag. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll put our bloom on the stamp right there. And now, of course, I need to put on some Winkastella because we love things sparkly. I hope you're enjoying this video and if you are and you're watching it on YouTube I hope you will just give it a thumbs up it's always fun to see a thumbs up on your video and leave me a comment I read them all and I love to hear from everybody it's so glad I'm so glad to be back it's been such a long time since I posted a video and I'm happy that you've come to watch it and I hope that you enjoy it so now what we're going to do is that we have this done and I've got my Wink of Stella. Can you see the shine on that? Isn't that pretty? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my adhesive. And we'll put this on the card. Just really simple. This is turning out to be such an easy yet simple card. It's beautiful though. I really like the sparkle. I just really like all the elements to it. Now let's add some pearls. Just jazz it up a little bit more. 
So I think I'll just put three pearls right here. Like that. And now, of course, we need to finish the inside of our card. So I have another piece of the uh, basic white cardstock, and I have a piece of uh, the Oso oh Ombre. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my adhesive and run this across the bottom, and then we'll put the designer series paper on. And I always cut it a little bit larger because it never seems to match up exactly. And by cutting it a small amount larger, then you know it's always going to fit and it will work out perfectly. It's nice to decorate the inside of your cards. It makes them look like you've just put that extra little touch on there. And it gives some interest to the out or the inside after you've spent all that time on the outside making it pretty, you might as well make it pretty on the inside too. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Okay, now our card is almost done. Now there's this really cute die that's in this same photo gallery uh, die set, and this is it. And it makes this really cute die. It kind of looks like a postage stamp. So I've gone ahead and I've stamped happy birthday on it and then I cut it out. So now I'm going to use <coughs> excuse me, some of our mini dimensionals and we'll put these on so that it can be elevated across the card also. <coughs> so sorry for my cough. Dry day. Oh, maybe that will help. <coughs> so, so we'll go ahead and we'll mount. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and we'll mount this to our card, and there we go. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed my video, and I hope you will give it a thumbs up and come back often. Thanks again. Bye.